Hi, it's John from Dynaspectrum here in our development S8. We've got data logging running wirelessly at 100 hertz on the laptop, showing us various channels that we're interested in. I'm going to show you also how they display on the dash within the boost gauge. So initially we've got vacuum gauge, and if we're going to map switch mode, you'll see we're on map switch zero with a zero ethanol content. If we change the map switch one, we've got intake air temperature, and the boost gauge is now fixed, just at that slightly higher level, and our intake air temperature is 46 and a half degrees Celsius. The range of this is zero to 100 degrees Celsius. Map switch two is low fuel pressure, range zero to 10 bar, and on the data logger, our fuel pressure is 5.3 bar. Map switch three, high pressure fuel system. This is barely registering, range zero to 20 megapascals, presently running one and a half megapascals idle. You might expect to run 12 or so at full throttle on a stage one car, but with an upgraded fuel system and lots of ethanol, so you don't run out of injector, you could be running 20, and that would put you at the top of this gauge. Map switch four is lambda, range 0 0.75 at the bottom to one at the top. Occasionally you'll just see this jostle around around about lambda 1 at the very top. Typically you'll see this in the lower third when you're at full boost. Even though it's a direct injection car they can run a lot more boost than they do standard and they make a lot more torque and keep lower exhaust gas temperatures if you're on them richer and it really doesn't lose you any power. It also stops the car fatiguing when you repeatedly drive it like it's supposed to be driven. Uh, we show on map switch 4 for Lambda the leanest of the two banks. And finally map switch 5 is knock, range 0 to 10, no knock at the moment. Um, this is the average of all the cylinders, it's nice if this is in the bottom half of this range. Um, but it will depend on you and your tuner how it's set up, but you can see if the situation is deteriorating you need to get some more cooling or better octane fuel or let your car cool down for a while. Thanks.